Well, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, I'm here at the 510 Hotel. My name is Jimmy Johnston, and I work for the Sarah Foundation for Life Skills, who are working here in Main Kinney. And we're doing a, a building a bakery and a canteen, which is almost complete after last year building, digging a well and having a water put in at the Holy Family School. But as you can see, this is the place where I live or stay whenever I come. It's the 510, we're at the back of the 510. As you can see, it's pretty well run down at this moment in time, but they are doing a facelift on it. So hopefully by October, May, I hope uh, October of coming May next year, it will be up and running in a great condition. But a very, very beautiful place. Um, with me today, I've got my good friend, Emmanuel. Emmanuel has just come along to have an interview with me for the, um, for the benefit of a lady who has been supporting him or has supported him and sent him out some money uh, with me. And uh, Emmanuel, this is Emmanuel, by the way, I'm about to get the camera on him because I'm not a very good as Brida, I'm not a very good uh, guy on the camera. But that's Emmanuel. Manuel, how old are you now? Almost being 35. 35 years of age. I met Emmanuel way back just after the war. And Emmanuel had been shot in the leg. And uh, Manuel, can you turn around towards me? Because you're sitting away if you don't like me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Emmanuel, uh, just for Brida and um, Breed is a lovely lady back in England, which she's really has taken on support in the Sarah Foundation for Life Skills. And uh, when she'd heard about you, uh, apparently she had raised money, something to a, the equivalent of £100, which you have received. Yeah. And uh, that works out to about 700 odd thousand, sorry, Leon. Uh, Manuel, what has this meant to you, receiving this money from Breda? I'm really very, 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 very happy. I cannot really express my sincere gratitude towards what Sarah Foundation has done, especially for Mr. Jimmy, because he always delivered the message out there, seeking help towards me. I'm really happy to all those who join hands together and send in support so that my problem can be solved. I'm really happy about that. Thanks, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, uh, Emmanuel has uh, is a polio in one leg. Can we have a look at your leg, yeah. Emmanuel? This is his bad leg, and uh, let me just zoom in on it a bit. So this is the bad leg, and this here is his good leg. Um, Emmanuel, as I said, was shot around about 202, just at the time of the war or the finish of the war, and he's been carrying a, ter a, her a, a, a ter horrendous uh, a wound ever since that time. Uh, some time ago, about four years ago, I'd taken Emmanuel off to uh, the mercy ship where they were going to take his leg off. At that time, Emmanuel wasn't prepared for that to happen. Uh, but now it, it has come to such an estate that if anyone can help him to get into any country, uh, I think the costing that I was quoted was around about 30,000 to bring him to Britain, but they wouldn't allow him in anyhow. So. Uh, which is very, very sad for Emmanuel and for everybody concerned. But Emmanuel, uh, could we have a look at your wound, just for Breda's sake? And uh, Breda will see this whenever it goes back, and perhaps she's well-known. I know that Breda's well-known all over Luton and uh, has got a lot of friends. But just she can show this maybe whenever I put it on a stick and she'll be able to show it and get it onto her mobile. So we're just going to... Breda, we're for your sake, we're going to be like... Oh, oh, are you okay? So we're going to have a look at um, Emmanuel's leg and, and see what this young man has suffered for the last 14 years. It is absolute horrendous. It is just unbelievable. Yes. As for now, you can see, I'm carrying forceps and scissors. I am the medic for myself because at least first, when I was going to school, I was within the Red Cross Society helping others. I manage myself to do my own dressing without the help of other doctors, as you can see. I got my forceps just to clean this wound. It is really bad off. I don't know. As you can see, the bone is... Well, this leg isn't a, 
It's absolutely horrendous. And in here, I think the, the bullet is still inside the leg. Now, at the top of this leg, here where my finger is pointing, the uh, Brida, they were going to take the leg off there, just where his, where the, 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 the scissors are. And they were going to take the leg off there. Now that's, if they can take the leg off there, if we can get anyone to help him to have this leg taken off, what will happen is that Emmanuel will be able to have a, an artificial leg put on. And this will, he, this man can live for a long time yet. But as you can see, this is just horrendous. Let me get a real close up to this, of this. Look at this leg that this boy has been, been suffering for the last 14 years. And please God, if there's anyone out there who can help him, to uh, Manuel, you can dress it up now, okay. please. please mm, I it. just want you to see the way I do my dress. Yes, I'm, we're going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to see. This is Emmanuel dressing his leg. And how many times a day do you have to do this, Emmanuel? Well, I do it when I'm doing the dressing today, tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not going to do the dressing except for another day. Sometimes I do it every day. I have my kids here with me yeah. which I paid for through the help of my dear dad Mr. Jimmy <laughs> and you over there because her, her whatever, name is Brida Brida Auntie Brida whatever you sent for me I use it to get my medication because when I go to the hospital to get some of these things I cannot get them on time except I pay for them I got my hydrogen for oxide here, my bandage, and the rest of it, I do my dressing. I just want you to observe one thing within this dressing, which really sometimes put me off, because the dressing, I'm not too, I'm not a medical practitioner, but at least for now, I can see, I do everything for myself, just to make me look good just to make my leg look good. It's, as you can see in here, Auntie Brida, there is a hole wearing all this gauze, as you can see. I've squeezed it in. So, into this hole. Papa Jimmy, I don't know if you can see yes, clear. I can see, I can see. You see? I remove it. Yes, now put it in see. there, Emmanuel. This is where the bullet went in. And the bullet, when the bullet went in, it went in from this angle, straight up into the leg. Apparently, is the bullet still in there? Emmanuel? Yeah. The bullet is still in. Well, nothing has been said to me by those. But they never, you never had medication. You never had any, any surgery on the well, leg. Well, let me see. Four operations has been done here. Yes, still. I know I've, I've taken you. Four operation, the most, the most expectful one, that, successful one that I was thinking mm. to be my own is the one at the mastership. But when they rejected me, yes. reason well known to them, I don't know. Yes. As you can see, the forceps is getting in into this leg, anti breather. I really need help. Even for me to continue with my education, I cannot. Mm. I cannot, just because of... This is, you are you're an inspiration to us all, Emmanuel. This is just horrendous. And honestly, it, it is just amazing what you're doing and how you put up with this all the time. With a bad leg, this, this polio leg. Look at the size of this leg, everybody. Look at the size of that leg. And this, this good leg is just torn apart. It's, uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, Sometimes I ask the question, God, why? Why is this young man suffering like this? There's got to be a reason for it. There's got to be something that's got to be done for him. And please, God, Rita, if you know anybody out there that can help Emmanuel, please don't be scared to get in contact with me. Everything that goes, that is given to me, goes to Emmanuel, as he will tell you. I send everything to him. Uh, how many years have I looked after you now? How many years have I been looking after you? Almost going to five. Five years, is it? Yes. Uh, it's quite a while. Almost going to five. Yeah, I thought it was longer, but maybe I'm just getting older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. See, if you bandage least. it up, my man. Yeah? Yeah. 
Okay, there you see it, Brida. And, uh, you know, this is a, a, a lovely young man, very in, highly intelligent young man. And please, God, if we can get something done for him. Um, I just I, I just plead with everybody I can see. And I don't I don't mind begging or borrowing or stealing. No, I won't steal, but I don't mind begger, begging or borrowing and, and doing whatever it takes to help him. Because uh, he is a lovely guy. So thanks, Brita, for, for all the, for the money that you have sent to him. And he will appreciate big time. So, Manuel, what would you like to say if Brida was here? What would you like to say to her? And to Brida, I say thank you. I say God bless you. May mm. God continue to strengthen you. And may he open doors so that you can see to us, we are the needy. We are the needy. We pray that God will strengthen you and God will church more people that you explain my problem to. And people will see with you and do something towards me. I say thank you. Continue to deliver this message to other people so that they can come in contact with Papa Jimmy so that something can be done towards my leg. I've suffered for too long. I say thank you. May God bless your family. May God bless your going out and your coming in. May he be the author and finisher of your faith. I say thank you. May God protect you. May you always guide you on your way out and on your way coming in. I say thank you. Mm -hmm. God bless. Amen. Take care. I'm here hoping to hear good news from you and your friends and your families and relatives and all those that you will put this case into their hands. I pray that God will touch their hearts and they will continue to, to see and do something great mm -hmm. towards you so that you can do something towards me so that I can get my operation done. Jesus I'm really name. tired of this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm really tired. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I think of my past life going to school, very, very intelligent. I do very great work with my schooling, but now I cannot go to school because one day I have to go to school the other day, I have to do my medication. Mm. This is this is exposoft. Mm. I apply with mm. and to do that. This is exposoft. I apply it for myself mm. just to keep my leg going. Mm. I thank God. I trust God. Mm. As you can see, the way I'm putting it, I even put it inside so that it can go in. You can see the forceps, mm. the way it is. Mm. It is almost halfway here, mm. the inside. Yes, I mean. pray that God will touch you people and God will bless my dad, <laughs> Papa Jimmy. God will continue to strengthen him. He's coming here and he's going there. I pray that he will continue to live for us with the lady. Mm. I thank God for everything. Mm. Well, there you hear it, guys, and uh, Brida, there you hear Emmanuel. And uh, what a lovely young man. What a lovely, godly young man this is. And really, he trusts in God all the time. You know, we talk about trusting in God, but this young man really puts us to shame when he trusts in God. He trusts in God for everything that he gets. He told me one time, I, I only have God to, to trust in. No one else, only God. And he said, that, and hopefully, hopefully, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, you'll be able to meet Brida one day. Just to ask, would you like Rita yes. to come here so yes, that you could meet yes, her? Yes, yes, I'll be glad if she <laughs> yeah. comes here yeah. or if I go and meet her over there, okay. I'll be glad. Uh, praise God, you will do. I'll Emmanuel, you will meet her one day by the grace of God. Amen. Okay, I'm going to sign off here now. Emmanuel's going to get bandaged up and, and, uh, and we're I going use to... one or two ample of this. Oh yes, you put mm, that this in. This is gentle machine. Yeah. It helps me great. Yeah. Just to keep my leg going. I use one ample. One ample a day. Uh, a dressing. Yeah. Mm, for my dressing. Okay, Please. Emmanuel. Okay. Thanks, Emmanuel. Thanks for coming. Emmanuel lives about maybe a mile, two miles down the road, and he's got to get a vehicle to come here to see me, and uh, he makes his way up quite regular to see me, and and we have good fun and good chats together and and pray together. So we have a good time, really, Manuel, don't we? 
Uh, yes. Yeah. Indeed we do. So uh, please God if something will be done for him. All right, Brida, this was for your sake that I've done this, this video, just to see where your money has gone. And uh, now you'll be able to show this, maybe please God, to all people that you know back in, back in Luton. And uh, God bless, Brida. Take care.